All right, I always get a kick out of, uh, you know, corporate chieftains uh, who don't want to necessarily get in the president's uh, direct uh, ire shot, uh, sort of assessing what's going on in the tariff front here. Boeing, for example, saying that it's assessing all of these tariffs. Tariffs, by the way, that could boomerang on them. It says all of this is in the proposal stage, much like Larry Cuddle was telling our Stuart Varney, so uh, no need to necessarily immediately fret right now. That is a, a sentiment coming from a company that used to be uh, in, the, in the president's sights as a company that wasn't doing enough, uh, charging too much for making those Air Force One uh, jets and then uh, had to extract a deal and maybe have a little bit of a mea culpa to get along, uh, which is the kind of situation that Jeff Bezos at Amazon finds himself in, uh, in the crosshairs right now. Now, and can he and can the company pull a Boeing and maybe get back in the president's good graces? Or is it too late for that? Wall Street Journal associate editor John Bussey, one of the finest economic minds I know. Um, John, what do you think? I mean, where is this all going? The trade debate in First, particular? Uh, uh, on the back and forth and the nastiness on the trade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, for the president or for the White House to say that we're not in the trade war, boy, this you know, walks like a trade war, you know, quacks like a trade war. And, uh, and the run-up in a lot of these prices in the futures markets, that's a trade war. Hugely disruptive to farmers, you know, Boeing, to those who are in sort of the thick of this. Uh, and the Chinese are not going to roll over. Uh, you know, they, they're playing four-dimensional chess with this. They see a White House that sometimes is impulsive, uh, though this may not be one of those instances. I mean, this was forewarned through the campaign and through his administration that they were going to get tough on China. Yeah, you and I have covered him for decades. And I mean, he has long held these views. He, he said this, and, and frankly, the business community on both sides of the political sort of realm are, are not necessarily opposed to getting tougher with China. They've seen the forced technology transfer. They've seen the lack of access to markets. They've seen China change its standards so that you thought your product would be okay to sell in China, but suddenly it isn't, and, and an opposition's uh, product is selling there. They've seen all of that, and they want some kind of toughness with, with China. But are what, they afraid it gets out of control? Now, the, it's hard to read markets in a day. But, but, but the, the markets seem to be relieved when they hear it from administration spokespeople saying, well, th this will be a happy ending. And then when it looks like there won't be a happy ending or there are more tariffs tonight proposed, maybe not. Yeah. So, yes, the answer to that, uh, can it get spin out of control? Can it hit my product, the soybeans today and Boeing, you know, today? But, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, some other thing that, I'm, uh, that I have a vested interest in tomorrow. Uh, they're worried that it gets out of control. Or they're thinking to the business community is thinking to themselves, look, this is the cudgel that whammo you get the attention uh, of your trading partner with. Is this the way it rarely to, works. Exactly. Is this the is this the way to is this the way to engage the Chinese who do not like this kind of of, of sort of public debate, uh, who would prefer things to happen behind the scenes? Maybe not. Has the behind the scenes pressure on China worked in the past? Not necessarily. The U.S. is still at a disadvantage in that market. And that's why a business community, which was the primary proponent of China all through the 90s, get him into the WTO, get rid of this most favored yeah. nation thing every year, let's normalize with China, is okay. now saying, let's get tough with China. All right, John, we didn't have time to discuss Amazon. We didn't. Another visit, <laughs> another time.